Hello and welcome back to our channel. One thing we will all agree on is that this channel's guiding principle is choose where you belong. And today's topic aligns perfectly. So let's dive into the first step of this challenging yet promising journey called relocation. As a seasoned expert in migration spanning several decades, I've witnessed that not every investor opting for immigration chooses to reside in another country. In fact, many meet the menu residency days early. Now, for the million dollar question, when should you start thinking about relocating? Surprisingly, many of you may have yet to consider this narrative. So let's get started. Hi there, traffic here. And I'm here to help you become a global citizen and attain financial and travel independence. My team and I at Portico Bridge specialize in working with high and ultra high net worth individuals just like yourselves. We are here to help you find your freedom and choose where you belong. As we all know, relocation is when you move to a new place, whether on your own or with your family, within your country or to a different one, or even a different continent, and embark on an entirely new life. Fewer connections, more challenges, yet still, or yet people still choose relocation, regardless of whether they are wealthy or not believing that a new life will open new doors. The desire is to choose the best within one's capabilities, seeking excellent education, a good quality of life, connecting with the global elite, and eliminating all geographical limitations. This is a motivation I encounter daily, specializing in investment migration. People seek places that offer high quality educational and healthcare systems, economic opportunities, and strong rule of law. Things not fully accessible to all, even if they belong to the elite class of their current country. Many clients share with me that they choose Europe, for instance, due to the excellent air quality, high education, and healthcare standards and stringent food regulations. People are not looking for the moon, but for the basic issues of enjoying a healthy life for themselves and above all for their loved ones. Also, relocating for the global elite, connections transcend networking opportunities. It's about placing oneself in an ecosystem that breeds innovation, collaboration, and a shared vision for the future. The allure of being part of a community that shapes global conversations is a magnetic pull for those seeking not just success, but purpose, and above all, I would say significance. Secondly, the current cost of living in your home country is too high, or there are more opportunities to earn money in another country. This has become increasingly common in recent years, with Asian golden visas gaining attention. These countries meet the criteria for breathtaking landscapes, affordable living, and strong infrastructural development. Now, let's look at another cohort those not compatible with customs, lifestyles, and viewpoints in their home country. In this case, if possible, you might consider relocating. A classic example is when your country of residence doesn't accept the LGBT community, does not allow same-sex marriages, etc. While you identify as part of this cohort. In this case, you might be interested in exploring Portugal and Malta countries at the forefront of equal opportunity for all, notwithstanding one's sexual orientation. 
Now let's turn to some other cases related to career paths, including choosing to study abroad and staying for higher salaries and more career advancement opportunities. In my network, many friends have relocated to multiple countries and continents over the years, and relocation itself has become their invaluable strength, I would say. I encourage you to migrate if you believe you can thrive in a new environment. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. When you should not relocate. You should not relocate when the purpose of the move is unclear. And you're just going with the belief that life will be better. Of course some people will succeed, but having a well-defined purpose and set goals can significantly increase the likelihood of a positive outcome. You should not relocate when there are too many conflicting opinions, especially with a life partner, about the decision to relocate. Engaging in open communication and reaching a consensus before proceeding is crucial. You should not relocate when relocating without a stable financial backup. It can lead to unnecessary stress and challenges. Adequate financial preparation is crucial for a seamless transition. You should not relocate when there's a closed mindset without a willingness to learn and adapt to new or to the new environment, including its language and customs. It can hinder personal and professional growth. Relocation is a multifaceted decision encompassing various motivations, considerations and challenges whether spurred by educational aspirations, career goals, or a quest for an enhanced quality of life, each individual journey is unique. The key lies in balancing personal aspirations with practical considerations, ensuring that the chosen path aligns with, the one, with one's values and long-term vision. As you navigate the complex relocation landscape, remember those four words. Choose where you belong. It's not just about moving physically. It's about finding a place that resonates with your aspirations and values, creating a harmonious balance between the old and the new. In the end, the beauty of relocation lies in the transformative journey it offers, shaping not just your surroundings, but also your sense of self and belonging. See you next time. Make it a great day.